there's a great beauty in Rectify. It's really, it's a wonderful thing. I'm jealous that you get to watch this for the first time. I don't need to convince you. Once you watch the first episode, you're hooked. Season three is about personal growth. So everybody's having to figure out what they're going to do now that reality has come home to roost. Characters react in surprising and different ways. And all of these actors, they're, to me, real artists. They're fearless. They're not afraid to get ugly. Oh, sounds like fun. In season one, how we meet Daniel is on his release from death row. New DNA evidence has come to light. That's allowed Daniel's sentence to be vacated, so he's free to find his way back into a world that has very much forgotten him. I can't quite get a handle on the concept of time yet. There have been moments here today where I feel like I'm still in high school. We find Daniel in the beginning of season three, and it's only six or seven weeks since his initial release. And in that time, an amazing series of things happen. He's survived a coma. He's been baptized. He's found what he might consider an idea of love. But I think Daniel very much wants to find a place where he might belong. I got a spare room and a blow-up mattress. Nothing fancy. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Amantha's Daniel's sister. The relationship is so fraught because she really sacrificed her life for him. She still really loves him, and I think that's what's so fun to play about her. I was kind of hoping to get on with my life, not babysit a 38-year-old convicted murderer. I think everything was so clear before. Get Daniel out of jail. And then it happened, and then it, like, the whole family completely unravels. This season, the family's lost. We hold so many secrets that forces us to be guarded. Twin Peaks had that same kind of feel. It's never about what's being said. It's about what's in between the lines. Did you tell Jared? Wasn't sure if you wanted to. Why would I want to tell him? I'm actually right here. Tony's life has changed as, as a result of meeting Daniel. He's really cracked open her curiosity and her imagination and their relationship in a sense, Teddy and Tony's. But I don't think Daniel is the cause of the breakup. I feel like Tony's views are evolving. I just need some time, Teddy. I love getting lost in the world of Rectify and hearing Daniel's voice speak to me in a way that I hadn't thought of before. That kind of creative channeling that happens when you're writing and when it's going well, that's very exciting. The most incredible thing about Rectify is, oh my God, just everything. With the family, there's a civil war. Unpredictable would be one word I'd use to describe season three. We're beginning to take sides. It stirs people on a deeper level. Rectify has roots and it's constantly evolving and breathing and you never quite know where it's gonna go. That's what our story is about, suspense, mystery, and great drama.